Hi, this is Robert Paulus. I'm still here at Comic Con, Anime Con 2011. And I'm here with Terry Bancor. And you're from? I am from Geekbox. Uh, we design and build custom display cases for your valuable collectibles, uh, such as this one. This is a, a, a special order that we did for to specifically for these particular collectibles. Uh, we provide a uh, wonderful environment to protect your stuff and display it uh, so that you can be proud of, of the, the figures that you spend so much money on. Uh, this is all 98% uh, UV glass. Uh, each case is custom designed and custom built. Uh, Lance Sawyer's, the uh, uh, the proprietor of the shop, is uh, has a 16 year history of building frames for uh, professional sports memorabilia, uh, custom framing for archival pictures and uh, uh, professional artwork. Uh, these are a new line that he's into, but they're already becoming uh, as collectible as the toys themselves. Uh, this particular piece, uh, he did all the detail work in the background. Uh, you can see the, the figure from all, uh, not just the, the front, but the sides and the top. Uh, it provides a virtually dust-free environment. It's wall mountable any place in your house. Uh, and we use an LED lighting system on a battery pack, which means that it doesn't even necessarily need to be plugged in. Uh, and there's very low fire hazard. Uh, which, since we also use LEDs, it doesn't heat up the box at all, so your collectibles stay in pristine condition and continue to gain value as opposed to sitting out on some shelf, getting dusty, getting faded from light, and that sort of thing. Uh, we've done a number of uh, wonderful pieces. Uh, Lance ha has put these together as, uh, for displays, not just the Jabba case, but we've also done uh, other Star Wars cases, the uh, Han Solo which is uh, a particularly popular character and a popular set of uh, figures. Uh, we do uh, more standalone cases for larger statues. Uh, we've also done uh, bus cases and uh, we can even include a turntable so that you can see your figure from 360 degrees uh, on a separate circuit so it doesn't have to be running all the time. Um, one of the most popular ones at the show this year has been the Space 1999 Eagle One. This was one of the most popular spaceship toys before Star Wars came out. Uh, I've had literally a thousand Generation X guys standing here telling me how they had this toy when they were young and all the horrible things that they did to it. Blew it up with uh, fireworks, buried <laughs> in the sandbox, got in fights with it. Uh, I had one myself uh, and uh, kept Cheerios in it under my bed. Uh, and uh, now it's a $250 toy. Uh, we, we put it in a very handsome display here uh, with uh, hand-molded uh, lunar craters, a wonderful background in the back. And uh, we've even added a light display on the bottom so that it looks like it, it has blinking lights. Uh, the really cool thing about this ship was that the uh, cockpit and the engine compartment can come off and reassemble as a smaller shuttle ship. Uh, another extremely popular one has been this Avengers case. Uh, this has uh, been a static uh, battle between the uh, Avengers and, and uh, the Skrull, I believe. Uh, and if you're uh, really astute, you'll notice that that uh, ship that the Skrull is riding is actually a Halo ship, which Lance chose because it uh, really went well with the, the piece. But uh, as all you authenticity ravens will be thrilled to point out, it doesn't actually go with the Marvel Wars. <laughs> now, uh, this particular one has also gotten a lot of interest. Uh, this is the uh, Emperor from the Star Wars series and Ad Grand Admiral Thrawn. Uh, he's probably one of the more popular characters in the Marvel Expanded, I mean the uh, Star Wars Expanded Universe. Uh, and uh, uh, he is extremely valuable. Uh, uh, if you're going to display him, this is exactly the sort of case that you're going to want. Uh, uh, you, excuse me for a second. Yes, you all custom made the chairs also? Uh, actually, the chairs were, I believe, Lance, where'd the chairs come from? Uh, Sideshow toys. Sideshow toys. Okay. Uh, but uh, uh, as you can see, he did a magnificent job with the detail on the sides of the case, uh, on the top, and uh, the uh, panoramic view in the background. And uh, uh, it's 
a steal at three hundred dollars. I think he he should probably raise his price. Uh, actually, next uh, year our prices probably will be going up. Uh, we've gotten so much play at the show. Um, gentlemen, excuse me. Two more uh, uh, extremely popular cases have been the uh, Green Lantern case uh, uh, with Sinestro. Uh, a lot of Green Lantern fans here. Uh, this has been a very popular item. Uh, and then we also have the Black Lantern case uh, down here. That uh, and Lance will be doing uh, a case for each of the Lantern groups. Uh, he's a big Green Lantern fan himself. Really loves the universe. Uh, something else that he's really well known for is uh, he's very popular among the GI Joe community. Uh, last uh, March at JoeCon, uh, he sold six of these cases, one after the other, because uh, people want to protect their figures and display them. Uh, basically, this makes you a legitimate collector as opposed to a geek with a bunch of toys. <laughs> uh, I, which uh, I like to say chicks dig in, because if you're uh, uh, an old married guy like me and you start piling up boxes of toys, if you don't display them, it's junk to your wife. If you do display them, at least she can put up with it and we'll let you keep buying them. So uh, and we also do uh, comic cases, uh, skate boxes. Uh, we, uh, Lance is a, uh, a skate rat himself and uh, uh, provides a lot of specialized cases for um, custom decks for, for skateboarders. Uh, if you are interested in, in uh, uh, getting something done custom, a basic case runs about $300 on up. Uh, and uh, you can uh, certainly find us at uh, fourcornersconcepts.com. Uh, we also recently did a uh, custom case for Joss Whedon. Uh, it was purchased into him on the set of The Avengers on the last day of shooting in Cleveland by his stunt crew. Uh, it was an absolutely wonderful piece. Uh, and uh, we feature a static picture of it on the back of the, the case. I've also, if you go to our site, we will have a video of the case uh, immediately before it shipped. It has exquisite detail. Uh, and uh, uh, it, it is now, from what I hear, the focal point of his office. When you walk out of the elevators, it's the first thing you see. And we also had Seth Green stop by yesterday to take a look at their stuff. Oh, yeah? So uh, uh, we'd really like to uh, uh, invite people to come by our site. Uh, if you have your own collectibles, uh, we're more than happy to custom design for you. We ship all over the world. Uh, and uh, we haven't turned down uh, in, uh, a challenge to our, our artistic sensibilities yet. So uh, feel free to come on by and, and thank you very much. Thank you. This thank is, you. This is Roderick from Toy Masters Video Magazine here at Comic Con Anime Con 2011 at Jacob Javits Convention Center in New York City.